Sherman Skolnick, our guest by a long distance. Mr. Skolnick, we've talked on several occasions with uh, Dr. Peter Beter. Do you know him or know of him? Yes, yes. I've uh, uh, been on the air right following him in, in various uh, parts of the country. I uh, respect his work. I think it's very interesting. Uh, we get into areas that uh, somewhat relate to what he gets into. Uh, one of the projects that we have worked on over the last year involves a company in the hometown where Ford was born in Riverton, Wyoming, called Pasco Incorporated. We uncovered the fact that Ford, in his original name, which is Leslie King Jr., and Richard Nixon, and John Mitchell, formerly the Attorney General, and Leon Jaworski, formerly the uh, Special Watergate Prosecutor, all have a financial interest in PASCO, which we consider it was no coincidence that Nelson Rockefeller bought out the company over the last year for $225 million cash. Wow. Not stock or collateral, $225 million cash. Uh, the nominee, the straw buyer for uh, Mitchell and Nixon is uh, Nixon's uh, law partner, Randolph H. Guthrie, who is a director of PASCO. Leon Jaworski has been a director of, the, of PASCO. Um, Ford's original family has vast financial interests in Wyoming, which have not really been discussed much in the media. And uh, these four people who have been very uh, involved in, in, in the recent history, you know, uh, <laughs> all these commotions that we have uh, lived through over the last couple of years have, what at least it seems to be, bought out by Nelson Rockefeller, who has certain uh, ambitions to be president without an election. Um, well, now, what kind of business is Pasco Inc. in? Uh, oil and gas in uh, about 14 western states. Um, the um, Pasco thing is a very long and complicated thing, but I can tell you that it is known by one or more key Wall Street brokers who talk about it behind the scenes. I can tell you that there is a related case involving PASCO now pending in the Federal District Court in the Southern District of New York. I can tell you that a major magazine is uh, considering cranking up a story about this whole business which could scandalize and terminate Ford. Um, well, now, Dr. Beter indicated that uh, Gerald Ford was going to be uh, out of the picture, and Nelson Rockefeller, President of the United States, I believe Beter said by, by September. And another thing he told us uh, last week, which was sounded kind of wild, was that he says that the Patty Hearst who's been prosecuted is not the real Patty Hearst, that the real Patty Hearst is dead. Do you have any I information have no on either of those? But I can tell you that Time Magazine, I have a contact there, has told me that since January, they had a story in the box, as they call it, put together, ready to run, which would scandalize Ford out of office. Whether the story in question is the Pasco story, I am not told. But I know it comes from a very uh, reliable source. Ford is vulnerable now to being removed by scandal uh, from so many different directions. I wonder if the public knows it. One book that I suggest that uh, your listeners check would be The Washington Payoff, which has, I think, uh, some 20 pages that deal with Congressman Gerald Ford and what the author of the book uh, claims Ford was corrupt as a congressman. Um, then there's the Pasco thing. Uh, then there's uh, the cover-up of Dallas uh, with Ford, uh, one of the surviving, visible, former members of the Warren Commission. And I know several magazines are cranking up, uh, uh, you know, a, um, a series of stories in that direction. Uh, of course, uh, Rockefeller, Ford's potential uh, opponent in a way, uh, has such an interest in the communications industry that uh, many of us suspect that this is just a simple way of getting Ford out to scandalize him out of office prior to the uh, uh, election coming up.